Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shandine for those of you who do not know who I am. Today I just want to stop by and really and truly share a word of encouragement to you. To my PCOS sisters, everything that's going on within our health and everything that's going on within our body. You know, keep the faith, keep doing what you're doing, keep trying things, keep doing things. Do not lose faith. Know that God is with you. He never leaves you. He never forsakes you. He's always with you. In this PCOS journey that I have begun, it's not an easy one, but my faith keep me grounded. Whatever you may, for whatever you may believe or what you may believe in, know that God is real and God is true. So I just want to say, be true to yourself. You know, have faith. You know, continue doing what you're doing. Continue you know, looking for solution, continue researching, continue reading, and continue doing what you're doing on the path to your healing. Once you hold faith and stay strong in Christ, you will actually see the end result of it. And I am a living testimony. I can tell you that God is good. God is great. God is real. He is real. Real as you can see my face, as you can touch my face. God is real as that. And I'm saying God is real because I all I had my experience with God, I know. And I'm going to share a little bit of my story with you, why I want to really encourage you. And I want to encourage those of you who are going through some, some error in your life that you, you just don't know the answer for it. So I just want to share a word of encouragement and a word of hope to you. Know that God is with you. God never leave. He never forsake you. In Romans 8, he said, not life, not death, not principality, not power, nothing can separate you from the love of God. So know that God loves you. Know that God is watching over you. Know that God sees your heart. He sees your situation. Know that God sees your circumstances and you trust that God will do what he said he will do. You just have to give him the chance to do it. And I know it's easier said than done. It's not going to be tomorrow as well as it can be tomorrow and it can be next week. It can be how many years down the road. Because even though when, um, I think it was Moses, when he said to Moses that he will bless his wife with a child. And Moses was already past childbearing age, but he did it anyway. He did it. So I just want to say to you, be strong, be courageous. Don't give up your hope. Don't give up your faith. Trust in God, because God have your back. And uh, encouragement to, for those of you who are going through the loss of a loved one. Maybe you are, you are coming out from a breakup, a bad relationship, uh, death in the family, you know, loss of a job, you know, loss of of um, yourself, a sense of belonging. Not to lose hope, because God is good and God always have our back. He never leave us. He never forsake us. And this is just what I want to share with you, because. I just sat here and that thought just come to me how, you know, how normally we are so afraid of everything. So afraid of everything. We don't know. We are afraid just about everything we are so afraid of. So I just want to say, do not be afraid. Be encouraged. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Get into the habit of reading the Bible, studying the Bible, and know what God is saying about you. Because God truly have a plan for you. Because he said, I know the plan and the purpose I have for you plan for you to be in good health and to be in and and prosper plan for you to be in good health and also for you to prosper in all that you do i'm going to encourage you to pray and believe when you pray that god answer your prayer isaiah 55 11 i think if i'm correct uh, he said a word will never go void and whatsoever proceeded from our mouth will go forth and it will produce what it, what we have sent for it to produce. So you got to have faith and believe that God will do what he said he would do. You have to believe God will do what he said he would do. Sometimes we also need to know in detail what God is going to do. But it's really and truly not for us to know what God is going to do. But I know if you put your trust and place your trust in God, that he will do exactly what he promised to do. Because he said he's a God who cannot lie. So he will do just what he said he will do. And to my PCOS sisters, I know that it's not an easy journey. It's really not an easy journey for any one of us. But keep the faith. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep looking after your health. Keep, you know, keep encouraging yourself. And I know it's harder. Sometimes I know it's really hard for some people to be, to encourage themselves. And, you know, and 
be on a good mood when all these things are happening in your body. I can say, have some faith, trust that God is with you, know that God is with you. Just hold fast, hold fast on your faith because God is who he said he is and he will do what he said he will do. So you just have to have faith, place your trust in him. Don't waver. And I know that no, none of us are perfect, but if you trust God, if you place your trust in God, you will see wonders. You will see wonders. And I am a living testimony of that. In my family, we have a, uh, well, I'm not going to claim it per se, but my, uh, my very close siblings, my, my brother, my sister, and my dad, uh, all, they all passed away from cancer. So my sister passed away when she was eight, 16, my brother passed away when he was 18, and my dad just passed away three years ago. So I know, I know deep in my heart when you see these things, it tends for you to not trust God and it tends for you to ask a lot of questions and even lose faith, even lose faith in all of this. But in all of this, I did not lose the faith. I was hurt. I was discouraged. I was mad. I was asking God, why? 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 But I came to realize as I keep focusing on God's word and God's promises, and I came to acknowledge and accept that Christ said he never leave me and he will never forsake me. He said when my mother and my father forsake me, he will take me up in his arms. And if, you know, if um. If this is the experience that I have to experience, maybe, you know, it's, I don't believe that anybody experienced anything without a reason. And it's for us to find a reason why things happen the way it happened. It's for you to look to God and trust God and believe and ask God to show you that. Because I know God do answer. He answers prayer. So as I was saying, when... When, when three of my very close family members passed away from cancer, it was really, it was, a, it was a really, really hard time for me, especially my mom, because my mom watched her son die at 18. Then two years later, her daughter died, and her son died from a brain tumor. Her daughter died from a bone cancer, and my dad, two years ago, three years ago, my dad passed away from uh, blood cancer so in all of that I did not lose faith I stand strong and I actually got more deeper and deeper into the Bible deeper and deeper into God learning who God is and you know learning who God is and and what he is to me and learning about the purpose why I'm here and learning about accepting the things sometimes things happen that we can't change and you just have to accept it. Sometimes things, you just don't have any explanation for it. But the beauty about it that I love about God, why I truly want to encourage you today is that I know God is real because he take me through that journey. You know, he even take me through a heartbreak. I, had, I was in a relationship for seven years. And at the last moment, when I thought that we were going to go somewhere, as something was going to happen and we were about to make another move in our life, that person actually just left. I did blame myself at one point. I was thinking, well, maybe it's me. Maybe something is wrong with me. You know, maybe I'm not good enough. I don't know what I did. And, you know, it was very hard. No matter where you are around this world, no matter where you are today, somebody is mourning. Somebody is mourning can be for their loved one, can be because they have a broken heart, can be because they don't have a job can be because somebody hurt them, can be some something. But somewhere around the world, today, right now, know that somebody is mourning. Whether it's a man or a woman, a mother or a father, a niece and nephew, somebody is crying and crying out to God for help because something precious has been taken away from them. But I can stand here as a testimony and say, God is real, trust God, God knows exactly what he's doing. You may not fully understand what God is doing at the point in time, but God is doing something great. Another thing I want to touch base on is have no fear. 
Have no fear in anything that you do. And I'm saying have no fear in anything that you do. It's, it, it's very interesting that, you know, when I think about all the things that I have overcome because I placed my trust in God, and to even make this YouTube video, I was really discouraged. I tried like several times. Even I know what I want to say and I plan it. I tried like several times to actually put this video out there and to come and encourage your heart. But it seems so hard to, for me to do. And I know that is because of fear. So I'm saying fear not because the Bible says God did not give us a spirit of fear but of sound mind, wisdom. So in that sense, because the Bible said that and I know that God has done great things for me and God has taken me through great paths, not only me but my family. I know this is like this, but there's this thing inside us saying it's not good enough, you know, who's going to listen to it, or, but you know what, you got to get over it. At some point, you're going to get over the things that hurt you because those things that come in your way, whether it's a loss of a job, loss of a loved one, a relationship, whatever it is that comes your way. I think it is there to teach you a lesson. You have to sit back, do some deep soul searching and thinking, talk to the Spirit, God, the Father, ask the question, and be willing to receive the answer when it comes. So I just want to encourage you to stay strong, stay in faith, love one another, don't be discouraged. Don't make fear steal your joy. Do not make fear steal your joy. Do not make fear steal your joy. Do not make fear steal your joy. Don't. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do. Don't be afraid to share the message that's in your heart. Don't be afraid to speak up. If you don't speak up, somebody will speak for you. And if you are a child of God, you know that God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of sound mind. Remember that. God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of sound mind. Trust in God. Know that God is well. Know that God is with you. Know that God is for you. Know that God is working things out for you. Don't be in a rush. Don't be hurried. Don't rush. Don't be hurried. Seek God's faith first. Seek Him first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added unto us. God sees our heart present. When I spend the time and devote my time and hour or two to God, he speaks. When my sister died, when my brother died and my sister died, I was much younger and it was just a passing thing. I didn't understand the full depth of grieving and mourning and, and the trauma that comes with it. But when I moved to Canada after the death of my sister, I studied social work. And that's where I actually start seeing things differently. And I start, you know, supporting and being there for my family, especially my mom. And I start talking to her along this and just help her along the way because I did counseling. I had to do counseling in my program. So I had the background of that. So I was able to help my mom through it. So recently when my dad passed, it was a different, total different ball game for me. So every process was different. Every process is different. So trust God that the process that come with the journey to enjoy it. Because in everything there is a season. And for everything there is a season under the sun. In every thing there is a season. And there's a season for mourning, crying, weeping. This is a season for everything. So trust God that when it's a season, when your season comes, ask God to give you the strength to go through or the strength to endure. Don't be discouraged. Trust God. Believe in God. Put your hope and your trust in God. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video has been a blessing to you. If it has been a blessing to you, like this video and share this video. If you have any comment, please leave it in the comment box and I will be happy to answer any questions. Thank you so much. Have yourself a blessed week and all the best. God bless you.